So now we're going to do the um, RGB backlights. And it's important that we do this as the next step because um, the RGBs, the uh, LEDs, go underneath the, the tubes. And until we mount these LGB, RGB LEDs, we can't mount the tubes. What we want to do is we want to mount these guys as low down as we can, but bearing in mind that the tube will have to sit on top of it. So if we can put these guys down a bit further without straining them, that's better. If you leave them up very high like this, it means you have to have very long leads on your tubes. So we put them down relatively low, so until they go to the neck on the leads there. And that then means that we can have tubes which have not ridiculously long leads. So we're going to put these guys in. Um, we're also going to put in the drivers, which are the 2N7000s. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, don't mix it up with the MPSA42. The MPSA42 has a different role later on. There's three 2N7000s and one MPSA42. Try not to handle the 2N7000s too much. If you walk across a, a carpet um, while holding one of these, you can destroy it. They are slightly static sensitive. And then a whole bunch of um, 1K resistors. So 1K resistor has the color code brown, black, red. So I'm going to put in one of these guys. I'm going to start on the right here and then um, probably put it on fast forward while I do the rest. It's important to stop after each uh, LED and just make sure that the test pattern is coming up. But I'll, I'll show you that as we go along. So we start by putting in the LED. One of the leads is longer than the rest. So we have this second lead here is longer than the other leads and there's a little circle on the board and the longer lead has to go into the hole with the circle. That's the common, the common pin there. Stretch these out too far, okay. It's a bit fiddly to get these guys in sometimes. Okay, and we're going to put that guy in so he's straight and not sticking out too much. If you notice here, the pads on this, uh, on this component are offset, so it means it's easier to solder from one side, two of them, and then if you turn it round, the other side, the other two. And we will trim up. So there's our first LED. Now we have to put in the um, resistors which will drive it. And these are these three guys here. You can see they've got a direct path down to the, the LEDs. And we're going to pop them in with the body at the top as is indicated on the PCB. with. So I'm going to solder the body side first and then we'll check that the, they're okay. Okay, 
can take the tape off and we can align the the bodies so they all look neat and tidy. And then we can solder the other side. Let us trim up. And now we have to put in the two N7000s before we can test this circuit. So it's Q3, Q4 and Q5, not Q6. So not this one, this one, this one, this one. And what we can do with this is um, we bend the middle lead back ever so slightly and then we find that these guys go into their positions very easily try and mount them so that they look the same then the result will look better Don't put these guys too close to the board. They are a little bit heat sensitive as well. So they're a bit fragile, these guys. Okay, and now we're going to it's not it's uh, not quite right so let's heat up one of the leads again and then we can adjust it so it looks better okay now they look good to me let's trim up so we can get in easier to the final third lead this guy up as well make sure we have no spare bits laying around and then we put on okay red green blue space red green blue space <laughs> 